Uh, good luck with the new record. Uh, two records. Good luck with the whole basically next year. It's great to have you back. Your voice kind of hammering in the airwaves. And thanks so much for coming here today. It's great. Yeah. Special yeah. event. So, what are you going to play first to finish? I'm going to play Taylor no, Taylor song because I think this. Um, but I, I was in Powderfinger, obviously there were two guitar players in that band and the reason I wasn't one of them is because I wasn't very good at the guitar, so, um, but I've always loved the kind of those finger pickery 70s dudes, like James Taylor and Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown had this loomed large over this last record that I made, in particular his album Late for the Sky, which is from 1974, which is a really beautiful record influenced me a lot in terms of I guess more the themes and the the kind of idea of looking at society and how broken it is and how beautiful it can be but through the prism of relationships I guess. Anyway that's Jackson Brown. I'm actually talking about James Taylor. This song um <coughs> massive verbal diarrhea today. I don't know why, sorry. It's like, this is like a lounge room. It's really, <laughs> this is what my lounge room is. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit bigger. There's no wall. <laughs> um, this is a, so James Taylor record called Sweet Baby James, I think it's called, his first album. And it has this song, Lo and Behold, which is, it's kind of like a gospel folk song, I guess, which is what I would ultimately strive for to be as an artist as someone who could write songs like this. So it's got a bit of... Uh, I mean, I grew up in a, in a Catholic family as well. Um, I, that's been lapsed a long, long time for me. Um, but there's still elements of gospel music especially that really appeal to me. So. Not because of the Jesus, the sweet baby Jesus thing, just because of what it sounds like. This song references Jesus a few times anyway. So it's called Lo and Behold. Thank you. 